Oh, we, my little degenerates. Oh, Ubisoft, 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 man. They always getting themselves into some damn trouble. I can't believe this damn shit. They always find some way to piss off a community. They always find some way just to just do dumb shit. You know, we asked for years for an Assassin's Creed Japan style game set in feudal Japan. And they finally give it and there's a bunch of controversy behind it now. Uh, so for those that don't know, just to recap what happened, recently the Assassin's Creed Shadow trailer drop, announcement, all that fun stuff came out. Uh, originally it was named Assassin's Creed Codename Red, but now they changed it to Assassin's Creed Shadows. Uh, it came out, the trailer, and we were like, oh wow, this is looking cool. Uh, you're gonna play as a female assassin, a shinobi, and it was like, oh wow, this is dope, this is cool. And then, <laughs> halfway through the trailer, we get announced that it is another character you're gonna be playing as. And then we find out that this character is none other than uh, Yasuke. Uh, the black samurai and this had everyone in the whole community everybody on on Twitter all these different social media outlets up and on everybody just losing their fucking minds over this whole announcement and we got some people that's like this is fucking awesome this is cool but majority of people were just like oh no this is woke this is uh dei whatever the fuck that means i i call it I, I think mighty keith said it the best i think it's called it's for too many niggas too many diversity checks um and it's just a bunch of nonsense and for me as an outsider looking in because i used to be a huge assassin's creed fan but i kind of disowned myself i I don't really care for Assassin's Creed all too much now. I check in here and there, but I'm not really into it. So as an outsider looking in, I just got to say, you guys are focusing on the wrong problems, the wrong things. You know, I'll be honest with you. I think it's a cool idea to have Yasuke as a protagonist or a, a, a dual protagonist. I think that's a really cool idea because let's face it assassin's creed has never been accurate <laughs> in anything <laughs> like they'll take a time period and that's cool and whatnot but let's be real this is all fictional shit you know some things they don't even get right you know you know the whole game literally is a backdrop for fucking so uh, conspiracy shit and also aliens and old civilization that had huge technology back then exist you know templars versus fucking assassins all this dumb shit this has all been fake in the assassin's creed world so when people talk about accuracy and historic accuracy in assassin's creed i just laugh because the game is already not accurate at all the franchise has never been accurate at all in anything there's literally a what if scenario where what if fucking george washington became an, an a fucking tyrant he became a king <laughs> like like you know how ridiculous this all shit sounds and this is assassin's creed in a nutshell like they'll take a time period they'll take a, a historic time period but then they'll always what if it <laughs> like all the time so i just find it always funny when people talk about assassin's creed has to be accurate or it's never been accurate it's like it's always been funny but for me i think it's kind of cool that he that he's in the game and that you're gonna he's gonna be a playable character because with the idea that not much information to go off of this guy they can do whatever the fuck they want um, they have more creative freedom. Look at the anime um, Yasuke. Um, they had that anime. That anime was fucking trash, by the way. But the music was banging, and the fight scenes when it when they had good ones, they were really good. But that shit was that anime was trash, and that took huge liberties. So I don't think that's necessarily the problem. The problem is a few things. One, Ubisoft does not have the writing chops to tell a cohesive 
really thought provoking storyline about uh asian i mean a black man taking up the the range of an uh of becoming a a samurai i don't think they're gonna really dive deep into what a huge cultural shift that is a outsider a slave taking up the role of being a, a samurai that is huge that is huge and i don't think they have the writing chop to talk about um racism back then or how does the the japanese people think of yasuke i don't think they have the the common sense and the balls to write that shit well because it's ubisoft and i just find it very it very weird no one's talking about that it's ubisoft we all know ubisoft is very hit or miss with their games even assassin's creed mirage which i actually think is a pretty good game even that to me did not hit well because it felt like a thrown together last minute addition it felt like a, a fucking uh ubisoft said okay you guys won't shut the fuck up about having a traditional assassin's creed game here you go but it was missing or wasn't elevating that traditional assassin's creed formula so why would i have faith for them trying to write a black man becoming a samurai not only that but is this game gonna be more of this bloated crappy side quest that don't matter uh typical new age assassin's creed game rpg style games because that's my biggest problem with assassin's creed nowadays is that it doesn't even feel like assassin's creed anymore it feels like these historic rpg games where they're bloated and just not meaningful quest or characters and story you know look at you know the last assassin's creed game that i played with this was odyssey you know i know a lot of people love odyssey and i know people love valhalla but i just could not could not stand i could not stand odyssey it just had so many quests so many different styles and, and whatnot and it was all boring it was wasted time wasted energy i was like what the fuck and it's like i would take a whole 20 minute long game with only five side quests and those side quests are the best of the best greatest hits like really some emotional great shit then what the fuck ubisoft be coming up with side quests or in, in side activities it's just bloated and boring and not interesting at all i was just livid every time i played and got to a side quest in um odyssey and, and is this game is going to be more like what is it going to be more like like odyssey in terms of like stealth that's another concern i have because odyssey stealth is trash you have to be a certain level to kill people i know i heard valhalla fixes that again i never played valhalla um but yeah i was just like no like valhalla hopefully fixed that and hopefully they took that they're gonna take that into shadows but oh my goodness i don't want to see no numbers pop up on an enemy's head you know and it's just you have to be at a certain level in order to stealth assassinate them like that is lame that is boring and i don't like that at all so ubisoft really 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 has to really nail that like that like rpg assassins vibe like they really have to figure that out also is there going to be social stealth you know are we going to be able to you know move again move across like a uh, uh crowd without being detected again i'm not asking this game to be like unity because i'm i'm sorry we just never gonna get a, a style assassin's creed style game like unity ever again but i would like so social stuff uh mirage had it and mirage did it well it would be nice to bring that back this is so much questions like are they gonna just make this an assassin's creed game or is this just another rpg style game 
and then you look at the pricing uh, of the game that's another concern i have like like the pricing <laughs> like like i get it 70 dollars. okay that's that's the base but if you want everything if you want every single thing you have to pay 190 for this game us dollars for this game and then if you want to get the ultimate edition 129 dollars 130 bucks for this game now you could go the cheap route which i probably might do if i decide to play this game which is just play the ubisoft plus um and just play it for 70 um 17 dollars or 80 bucks and it's like that's cool but jesus christ the pricing for this game is right it's stupid it's stupid it's like what the heck it's like and the things you're getting with it is just like whatever it's like what is this nonsense you know and i get it assassin's creed is their cash crowd so they gotta milk every dollar they can, but Jesus Christ, this is a little too much, even just to get the season pass. I know, I know, I know that season pass separately is probably gonna be like 40 to 30 bucks. And I'm just like, bruh, no. And I, I guarantee you, the season pass with the extra mission, extra story, is not gonna be as cool as what we think is probably it's probably gonna have more what if shit it's gonna have us fight some uh mythological demons and shit and, and, and i'm just like bro we fall it so so far from assassin's creed it's not even funny at this point it's 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 kind of embarrassing and sad at this point the thing that drives me the most goddamn crazy is that motherfuckers are actually buying this game and we haven't even seen any fucking gameplay you got this game in the top five best selling it on amazon and we haven't seen a lick lick of gameplay all we got was a cinematic trailer cg trailer and that's it everyone's convinced i'm like what why are you guys issuing out your money 130 bucks for a game we know nothing about except basic shit we don't know anything about the gameplay we haven't even seen the gameplay you don't even know if you like the fucking characters and how they sound you just put down money on it what the fuck but you know who am i who am i just some random youtuber and i think the thing i'm most concerned about the thing i'm the most concerned about about this game is how is this going to compete with all the competition outside of the whole yasuke thing the most unique thing that this game has going for it is that it has two dual protagonists what is it going to do to really stand out in front of the crowd because i'm sorry you know i don't think this game is going to be nearly as cool or as or as beautiful or as deep as ghost of tsushima you know recently ghost of tsushima is currently on the pc so now everyone can play it and that game is like a true samurai experience like truly an amazing game that is the assassin's creed game i've been waiting for and i and sucker punch beat them to the punch they literally fucking punch sucker punch their fucking asses with that game that game is fantastic and it's and to see this game coming now is kind of like outside of the uh, the Yasuke and the dual protagonist stuff. What else are you going to offer? Because there's other forms of of media that does what you're doing better. You know, if we're going to talk about feudal Japan samurai stuff, Ghost of Tsushima does it better. Uh, fucking Neo, even though that's fi way fictional that's gonna probably do it better you know Sekiro shadow dies twice you know rise of the ronin like these are games that are like really 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 good giving you that feudal japan assassin's creed uh vibe and even does it sometimes even better than assassin's creed how hell wulong even though that's chinese like these games really do something unique and cool with 
with the Japanese setting. And I just don't know if just historic accuracy, which again, Assassin's Creed has never been historic accuracy at all, is gonna be good enough, you know? I, I, I just don't know. And given their track record with the games, I just don't know. I don't have faith in 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 the game, but I I like to be proven wrong. I don't want to be a a naysayer, but I just don't see much in terms of what this game is offering. But only time will tell. Once they show gameplay, maybe we'll be impressed. Uh, with that being said, I'm just gonna wrap up the video and say this: out of all the things to be concerned about. Concerning about a black samurai and an Assassin's Creed game, a franchise that has been notorious, notorious for doing weird shit, inaccurate shit, like having fucking aliens and ancient civilizations, a what if scenario where George Washington became a fucking tyrant king, and a bunch of other weird shit. Yasuke is far far from your concern your main concern as gamers should be whether or not this game is going to have the writing chops to handle a character like yasuke will it have the gameplay of a true assassin's creed game or is it going to just be more of this rpg slop fest that is the assassin's creed franchise or the real question the real question you should be asking yourself, will it be on the level of Ghost of Tsushima? Because Ghost of Tsushima set the, the, the fucking golden standard of what Assassin's Creed game should be. And if Shadows is not on that level, then God help us all. That means years, decade years of waiting for a new Japanese style Feudal Japan Assassin's Creed game has went down the drain. It was a waste of time. Because if Ubisoft can't get it right, well then shit. You might as well just ask fucking Sucker Punch to start making the Assassin's Creed series. Because that shit felt more Assassin's Creed than any of the last previous Assassin's Creed games all combined. With that being said, I'm going to end my video here. Let me know what you think about this whole controversy shit with uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows. Are you looking forward to the game? If so, let me know what are you most looking forward to it. Uh, comment below. Like and subscribe. And as always, stay tuned. More videos are coming soon. It's your boy Mrs. Degenerate signing out. Have a good one, my little degenerates.